I love peonies, and as you can see, they are in full bloom here at my studio in Bloomsbury, central London, where I have two outstanding canteens of cutlery. Made of solid Brazilian mahogany, with drawers of English oak, hand dovetailed throughout, and with a highly polished mirror finish that is extremely hard wearing. The cabinets have decorative drawer pulls, corners, end pieces and escutcheons in silver gilt, all of which have been designed to match the cutlery within. Each canteen contains 18 place settings and each place setting contains seven pieces. There are two different types in each of the lockable drawers. The seven piece place setting contains a tablespoon and dessert spoon a table fork and dessert fork, and three knives. A table knife, a butter knife, and a steak knife. The style of the set is very decorative, each piece having a canvas leaf decoration below the ferrule and above the silver end cap. The craftsmanship required to achieve this level of quality has brought together the skills of 24 different master craftsmen, chasers, polishers, die sinkers and engravers among them. The acanthus leaf is a neoclassical theme that is close to my heart, going back as it does directly to the Greeks and Romans and continuing into the 18th century and beyond. I have now developed this organic theme with a 21st century edge, sharp and with sparkling facets. A great deal of modern silver cutlery is cast or electroformed, whilst this set is die sunk in the finest historical tradition of flatware silversmithing. This is a London set, a fact which is notable in the double filed bevels between the tines of the fork and in the tines themselves which are unusually delicate. Each piece is beautifully balanced, which is demonstrated by this fork which balances perfectly on the finger. The acanthus leaf decoration is continued on the backs of all the forks and spoons, a feat of engineering in itself, and almost unknown in the modern sets. The client's choice of handles for the set shown earlier was ivory, but the choice of other materials is very wide, ranging from gilded or oxidised silver, contrasting with the bright silver decoration, to lapis lazuli, jasper, rock crystal, malachite, or even hand-painted ceramics. The possibilities are virtually endless. From first concept to design blueprint, to unequivocal hand-rendered artwork is in itself a notable achievement. Lifting the design from the page and breathing life into it through the prototype stages and to full production is a complex process that represents a pinnacle of luxury that is rarely found even in the bespoke world. This is also true of the canteens which revel in luxury. Each drawer has been blocked out to fit. The dark green velvet provides a safe and snug housing for what is probably the most remarkable and beautiful set of cutlery produced in the last century. In addition, we can make fish sets, dessert sets and serving items as required. If you would like to commission your own unique set of cutlery or any other item, I would be very pleased to hear from you.